Denise Cheriesta, a name that resonates with many, especially those who are active on social media and follow the lives of influencers and celebrities. Her journey has been a roller coaster, filled with highs and lows, moments of triumph, and times of controversy. You might know her from her online presence. Denise has built a significant following, sharing glimpses of her life, her thoughts, and her experiences with her audience. Her posts often go viral, sparking conversations and debates among her followers. You might know her from the news. Denise has been a frequent subject of media coverage, with her actions and statements often making headlines. The media has scrutinized her every move, sometimes painting her in a positive light, and other times, not so much. She's a woman who has been in the spotlight, and not always for the best reasons. The constant attention has been a double-edged sword, bringing her fame and fortune, but also criticism and controversy. Denise had public conflicts with celebrities like Uya Kuya and Ayu Dewey. These feuds were not just private disagreements, but became public spectacles, with fans and critics alike taking sides and adding fuel to the fire. These conflicts played out in the public eye. Every argument, every harsh word, and every emotional outburst was captured and shared widely, turning personal issues into public entertainment. It was messy and it hurt a lot of people. The emotional toll on everyone involved was significant, with relationships strained and reputations damaged. The impact of these conflicts extended beyond the individuals directly involved, affecting their families, friends and fans. It was a tough time and I didn't realize how much damage I was causing. Looking back, I see the pain and hurt that my actions contributed to, and I deeply regret it. It's a lesson learned the hard way, but one that has shaped who I am today. Denise's story is a reminder that celebrities are real people. They are not just characters on a screen or names in a headline. They have their own struggles, emotions, and personal lives that are often hidden from the public eye. They have feelings, families, and lives that exist beyond the screen. The moments they share with their loved ones, the challenges they face in their personal lives, and the joys they experience are all part of their reality, just like anyone else. When we engage in gossip and negativity, it impacts them deeply. The words we say and the comments we make can have a profound effect on their mental and emotional well-being. It's easy to forget that behind the fame and glamour, they are human beings with vulnerabilities. It's a call for us all to think before we speak and to remember the human beings behind the headlines. In a world where information spreads rapidly and opinions are formed in an instant, it's crucial to approach each story with empathy and understanding. Let's strive to be more compassionate and considerate, recognizing the humanity in everyone, regardless of their public persona. Imagine being Uya Kuya or Ayu Dewey. These are individuals who have built their careers on their public personas, always in the spotlight, always under scrutiny. They were pulled into a conflict that wasn't theirs. Their reputations were questioned and their integrity was put on trial in the court of public opinion. Their families were dragged into the drama, facing the brunt of the backlash. Imagine the stress and anxiety that comes with seeing your loved ones suffer because of something beyond their control. It was a difficult time for everyone involved. The emotional toll was immense, affecting not just the celebrities, but everyone in their orbit. It was really hard, you know? The constant media attention, the endless speculation, it was overwhelming. My family was affected and it felt like our lives were turned upside down. We couldn't escape the scrutiny, even in our own homes. The pain was real. It wasn't just a story for the tabloids. It was our reality. We felt every harsh word, every judgment. It wasn't just about our careers. It was about our personal lives too. The lines between public and private blurred and we were left to pick up the pieces. The pain caused by these conflicts was real. It was a stark reminder of the power of words and the impact they can have on people's lives. It affected their personal lives and their careers. The stress seeped into every aspect of their existence, making it hard to find peace. It's a stark reminder that words have power. What we say, whether online or offline, can have lasting consequences. We must be mindful of our words and actions. The digital age has amplified our voices. But with that comes a responsibility to use them wisely. Let's remember that behind every screen is a real person with real feelings. In the end, it's about empathy and understanding. We need to support each other, especially in times of crisis. Let's choose kindness and compassion over judgment and criticism. Together, we can create a more supportive and understanding community. One where we lift each other up instead of tearing each other down. 
Let's make a conscious effort to be more considerate, to think before we speak, and to always remember the impact our words can have. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. And together, we can make a difference. Then, something changed. Denise became a mother. The moment she held her newborn in her arms, a wave of emotions washed over her. It was as if the world had shifted, and she was seeing everything through a new lens. Holding her baby girl in her arms, she saw the world differently. The innocence and purity of her child made her reflect on her own life. She realized that she wanted to be a better person, not just for herself, but for her daughter. She realized the importance of kindness, forgiveness, and setting a good example. Motherhood shifted her perspective. She began to understand that her actions had consequences, and she wanted to ensure that her daughter grew up in a loving and nurturing environment. When I held my daughter for the first time, I knew I had to change. It was a profound moment of clarity. I realized that I had a responsibility to be the best version of myself for her. I wanted to be someone she could look up to. I wanted to be a role model, someone she could be proud of. This meant making amends for my past mistakes and striving to be a better person every day. Mommy is different now. She's really nice. I can see how much she loves me and how hard she's trying to be the best mom she can be. Denise started to understand the pain she had caused. She reflected on her past actions and the hurt she had inflicted on others. It was a painful realization, but it was also a necessary one. She knew she needed to make things right. It wasn't just about saying sorry, it was about taking concrete steps to change her behavior and make amends. This wasn't about salvaging her reputation. It was about genuine personal growth. She wanted to be a better person, not for the public, but for herself and her daughter. This was about becoming a better person for her daughter. She wanted to create a loving and supportive environment where her daughter could thrive. Denise knew that the journey to forgiveness and personal growth was ongoing, but she was committed to it, one step at a time. Denise also began to see the role of social media in all of this. It had become a platform for negativity and attacks. She realized that she had contributed to the hurt. She saw how her words had amplified the conflict. Social media can be a powerful tool for connection, but it can also be a breeding ground for negativity. Denise's story is a cautionary tale about the importance of using our voices responsibly online. Section 5, New Beginnings, Embracing Change I started to make changes. I publicly apologized to Uyakuya, Ayudui, and everyone affected by my actions. I admitted my mistakes and took responsibility for my role in the conflict. This wasn't just about saying sorry, this was about genuine remorse and a commitment to do better. Denise was determined to break free from her past and create a more positive future. Section 6 Open hands, open heart Denise's plea. My journey is a reminder that everyone makes mistakes. We all have moments we regret, but it's never too late to change our ways. My story is a testament to the power of redemption. Forgiveness is a powerful act. It allows us to heal, grow, and move forward. Denise's plea for forgiveness is a reminder that everyone deserves a second chance. Section 7. The Power of Forgiveness. A new chapter. Forgiveness isn't easy. It takes courage to admit our wrongs and to ask for understanding. It takes strength to let go of anger and resentment. But the rewards are immeasurable. When we forgive, we free ourselves from the burden of the past. We open ourselves up to the possibility of healing and reconciliation. Denise's story reminds us that forgiveness is a gift we give to ourselves as much as to others. Section 8. Beyond the Headlines, Denise's Journey It's easy to judge from the outside. It's easy to get caught up in the drama and the headlines. But my story reminds us that there's always more to the story than meets the eye. Behind the public persona, there's a human being who is learning and growing. My journey is a reminder to approach others with empathy and understanding. Section 9. Second Chances, A Hopeful Future my story is a message of hope. It's a reminder that we all have the capacity to change, to grow, and to make amends. It's a story about the power of second chances. I am rebuilding my life. I'm focused on being a good mother and setting a positive example. I'm using my platform to advocate for kindness and understanding. 
Section 10, Lessons in Empathy Learning from Denise. Denise's story teaches us the importance of empathy. It reminds us to think about the impact of our words and actions on others. It encourages us to see the world through the eyes of others. When we approach others with empathy, we create a more compassionate and understanding world. We break down barriers and build bridges of connection. Section 11, Moving Forward, Growth and Understanding. Denise's story is a journey of growth, forgiveness, and redemption. It's a story that reminds us that we're all human, we all make mistakes, and we all have the capacity to change. Let's learn from my experiences. Let's choose kindness, practice forgiveness, and use our voices to create a more positive 